All right, uh, continuing on with the uh, retrofit of the bridge port. Now you can see it a little bit better here. This is all made, you know, all cleaned up and looks pretty nice and smooth. Anyway, but anyway, we're going to put a one-shot lube on these. Now, originally when these were built, they didn't have one-shot lube. They have like a thing. It looked like a grease gun, but it's not grease. There's grease fittings on here. There was, and there's it's called a pump oiler. It's actually oil. Now they still make that. They still buy that. You can still buy those. Uh, Bridgeport sells them, and some other people sell them. But it's nice to have the one shot. You put it on the side here, pull, pull the button, and you know the oily oil shoots through in one shot. Of course, there's still going to be other places you're going to have to lube, like the screw underneath there. I could put a a T on there to T off to that, but it just drips all over the pan and everything. So you just douse it with you know a little bit of Way oil on there, and of course the head, which is back there, I don't know if you can see it back there, that has to be uh, lubricated on its own. But this is just for the basic, the knee up and down this way, the longitudinal, and the table. Now, <clears throat> this is there's different kind of pumps, and this one here, I think I showed it in the other video, the beginning video. This is um, uh, it's made in China. What else? I mean, what else? I mean, nothing made in America anymore, right? But anyhow. That's going to be on there, and I'll show you where that's going to go in a minute. Then we have, this is a distributing valve. It's uh, got five outlets, so if I wanted a six, I could have it there. This is going to be the inlet. And how this is going to work, and, and by the way, it has adjustable um, metering on here. There's needle valves here. So uh, I can adjust it for various amounts of oil that I want to the different places. That's going to go... I'm going to drill some holes in, it, in the saddle here and then put it up underneath here, like this. Now to feed into it, where is it? Here. I have this uh, rubber hose, and that's going to go into the bottom of that and get, like, they're compression fittings. By the way, these are 5.30 seconds, a little bit of an oddball, but you can get the pipe. And it's going to go like this, and this part is going to be mounted over here someplace, right about there, and i got to come up with you know so that there's enough travel on this okay, like that and it's got two outlets so this side what's going to happen there is these these other little fitting angle fittings they get screwed in all the various places like one here one here goes here like this it's all eighth pipe by the way that is anyway and that goes here and then line come around like this somehow and uh, two over here and two on this and two on the knee now the knee that gets one right about here and then you have to have a T in the line which I have over here there's a T I'll get it out of there the T it gets mounted like this, just like that, and then that'll, that'll come out of the out of the out of the pump up here like this into this, and then one through a hole that I'm going to drill on both sides of the knee to another fitting similar to this one on that side. Like I was saying, this is aluminum tubing, 532nd OD, and I don't know some hole. Anyway, it goes. I'm going to lay it down in here, and get two lines, there's five lines got to go through here, four lines, four lines, because one of the lines has got to spin around up in here and go over to here somehow, somehow we got to, got to lay it out somehow to go around there. Uh, I got to lay four down here, so one, one has to go into the center of the, the, of the uh, nut here, and it drips, there's going to be a gap between the two nuts, there's two halves of the nuts here for the backlash. The oil drips down through that and it continues to drip down through the body of this and then gets on the other screw, the longitudinal screw. And uh, the other lines just go through, one goes, come on this side, go that way, one will come down this side and go in there. Uh, one will come down this way, another one come down this way and try to sneak around over to here. One comes around this way. I gotta lay it out, and I only got 10 feet of tubing here, and I'm hoping that's enough. Should be, 
it should be enough. Uh, it's got to be careful how you cut it and whatnot. So, primary thing is to determine where this has got to go on here and allow, make sure I got enough room for the for the for the hose. Maybe put this on first and then figure out where the hose has got to go and uh, uh, mount this up with four screws. It's not really that bad. So I'll get that on today and uh, the one thing you got to remember when you're drilling holes there's a shaft that goes through here, right through here. Right there. So you got to be above that with the hole through and then the other piece will be down over here someplace. Hey, I've uh, been working on this thing for a couple of hours I guess, I, I really don't know. It's a nice day out today, I got the door open and I ain't going to get too many more, but enjoy it while you can, right? Anyway, got this mounted up, four quarter twenty bolts. This thing here is a T, another quarter twenty. You got to drill and tap this thing, which is not a lot of fun. These, the fittings were already here, the, the, the tap, the uh, one eighth pipe tap here. And so what happens is it comes out of here, hopefully it goes through the whole thing comes out the other end. You got to purge it, I guess. Somehow block this off and make sure it comes out. And uh, I assume it's going to come out. And this goes to the other side, six inches down, four inches over. There's a whole half inch hole through here. On the other side, same thing. Goes through. The tubing goes through, doesn't interfere with anything, and then it turns up and goes into the fitting just exactly in the same spot on the other side. Except it goes out like that, you know straight up. And now the next step is to get this hose which is just temporarily here into this distribu distribution valve. I gotta mount this to 10, uh, 24 bolts up, drill up through the bottom of this and somehow tap that thing without breaking the tap and uh, put this, mount this aluminum block there and from that point I'll be able to hook this hose up and then start to put all the lines in here. There's one, two, three, four, five. So there's one. Let's see how it goes. There's one here, goes to the front. Then another one comes here. There's three that gotta go down this way. So there's four gotta go under here. Three gotta go into the front. One goes over to this side. One goes around to this, round to here. This one comes around this way, goes into here, and then one into the top of this. And this one comes around into here. And that's it. And it's done. So the next step is to get that block mounted, which is the, the hard, next hardest point. Okay, uh, for the most part, got it finished. Uh, got the hose on, I got this block on, I got all these on all the way around and I would have had it done except that this is all that's left of the aluminum tubing now I use aluminum it's nice and soft you can bend it easy a little bit easier than copper because if you got to work it a little bit move it around you can and uh, this one was kind of difficult because you got to stay away from the handle here still looks pretty neat coming in but I'm on one short here the last one has got to go up and inside the uh, the nut here to, to lubricate that so I don't feel like doing it today but tomorrow I'm gonna have to get on a lathe this is 1 8 copper it's 5 30 second I don't have any I'm not gonna go buy any so what I need to do is make up a small adapter uh, from 1 8 to 5 30 second like a, just just an adapter piece and uh, put it in there or you know sleeve over this or something to to make it fit up and then just bring it up here and then there's a hole on the top here uh, where you were normally you would line up the table and in the side of the center slot of the table there's a set screw you take that set screw out and you oil it and the oil goes down through but the automatic lubricator will do that for you so um, that's all that has to be done and that's completed and you just you know one shot there's no oil in it right now I put the oil in, I got the hose. The only thing I'm concerned about is this hose might be a little bit of a problem. I have to watch it. If it breaks, well, we try to find some swivel style one or something. But uh, you have to have that so that you have the travel. That might work, might have worked better here, I don't know. 
So I, I have to see. Maybe it'll work better sticking out. Right now, it's it's going to work, and uh, I'm pleased with it. And I got that job done. So uh, we're going to move on to the next uh, part, which would be, uh, I guess, uh, getting the head up here and the ram and getting the head off and getting that all completed. Got to put the readout on and so on, and it's almost done. I can have it done in a couple of days, really. So. I work on a little bit at a time. But anyway, uh, please subscribe to my videos and uh, we'll see you again on the next video and thanks for watching.